Hey everyone, my name is Sadat and I'm a medical intern here in India. Currently, I have given my USMLE Step 1 and I passed it. And uh, previously, I made a video on the ideal timeline to give uh, the USMLE Step 1. Do check it out. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about my USMLE Step 1 journey. And uh, so basically, I just uh, started after my exchanges to Brazil and Poland, which was after mid-September to October. And I decided to do a first pass of all the resources that I had planned to do. And I'll talk about resources in a different video. I was able to finish my first pass by December of 2022. And, but the only thing was that I was not able to do a lot of U-word questions. And I think I completed around 500 questions till then. So from December to February 2023, I decided to finish UWorld completely and I was able to do 50% of them correctly and I also gave the AMBOSS self-assessment test and I passed it and it, it was a different experience because I had to sit for an exam for over 4-5 hours and I was uh, sitting to do my uh, UWorld questions only for 1 hour each uh, section and then do another hour in the evening. So I realized that I had to um, build up the stamina for giving the exam. So from February to March of 2023, I gave all the seven NBMEs and uh, did UL revision on the side. I just kept on solving questions and uh, just learning from the explanation. And NBMEs also have explanations now. so. Uh, it's much easier to go through the NBMEs and uh, learn the material from them. I had a notebook which I kept for all the NBME questions that I got wrong and just wrote down the key points that I need to remember in order to get the uh, get a similar question correct. The whole prep took around 6 months and I think it's much more realistic to do the USMLE step 1 in 6 months rather than uh, all those vi videos saying that you can do your assembly step one in three months or four months. I, I don't think it's the best way to go about it. But yes, six months is definitely a good time to give it and pass comfortably. Things that I should have done differently or I would have done differently if I had known a little bit more is that um, to start you world very early in the prep doesn't matter if you have finished your first pass of resources or not definitely start u world early i also wanted to do u world twice but i was not able to do it twice i just did one pass and uh, tried to do as many questions as i could i didn't have a count on the second pass of questions that i did but i did a lot of them and I wish that I had just done a little bit less of uh, this book, the USMLE Step 1 First Aid. Just because that a lot of questions were uh, out of this book and I would probably have not known those questions if I hadn't done New World. And don't get me wrong, it's a great book for uh, concising all the materials, but it lacks a lot of things and the USMLE Step 1 has a lot of different types of questions which are asked from anywhere outside of this book. And finally, uh, behavioral science from first aid and boards and beyond is great, but definitely I would have done other resources if I had the time, like the Amboss Q Bank or something else. But yes, this is my USMLE step one journey. And I think six months is a good amount of time to prepare for the step one exam. Also while doing U world and giving your NBMEs. And also maybe you can do a little bit of revision towards the end before just before the exam and i'm sure you guys will pass that's it for this video subscribe for more videos about your assembly and i'll see you guys in the next one